So hi, I'm Paula Gilmore from CPD and CPD Live. Today we have a family law update from Giovanna Chamo, and she's now from Evolve Family Lawyers. So Giovanna, I'm going to hand over to you. Thanks, Paula. Um, hi, everyone. I'm back again for the yearly um, the yearly presentation on some uh, case case law. So hopefully um, you find the cases that I've chosen today interesting. I certainly did. I have, um, a, 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 as Paula alluded to, um, a started up my own firm of Evolve Family Lawyers. So that's why you've noticed the slight brand change. Um, what I've done today is um, I've just thought about um, a, a few key cases uh, that were mostly decided late last, mid to late last year um, that I found quite interesting and, um, and uh, cases that can be applied quite practically um, by yourself. Um, so I've, I've chosen two property cases and two um, uh, parenting cases to look at. Um, because there were so many great cases um, last year, I've also at the end of the presentation just listed a few more cases that I thought would be good for, for you to, um, to have a read of. Uh, obviously, in one hour, we don't have a lot of time to go through all of them, um, but they, it, it's just a little bit of a, of a touch base list of some further cases that I thought were um, important enough to mention. So we'll just um, work our way through some of these um, cases. So the first case that I um, uh, had a look at was a property case and it dealt with financial agreements. This is the case of Del Rio and Ginger number two. This case was actually dealt with in two parts um, and it covers essentially what can a financial agreement cover and can a financial um, agreement quarantine some property but leave other property and financial resources to be dealt with under section 79 of the family law act so that's why i found this quite interesting 